Yo, yo, YouTube, what up? AOK Dub here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my candy build for Endurance. So we're going to be starting off with the Storm Shield first. And we're going to head south. So this one is pretty much metal. I didn't put tire traps on most of the roof pieces because it makes your game lag a lot. <laughs> So, and Kenny has been having a lot of troubles with kicking people. I remember it, it was yesterday or the day before I was on wave 19 and I just got sent back to the home screen. I'm like, uh, all right. So anyways, they spawn over here towards the south, like this area right here. And a couple of them spawn down there too and they just come straight north. So, most of them walk this way, but I set a little tunnel up over here just in case. Just to, you know, take out any stragglers that may want to come around or whatnot. And it's all the way wrapped around over here. So in case you guys notice, I have a lot of electric fields top. And you want to put these one, two tiles up in case propane blows this tunnels, the tunnels up down below you'll have these killing everything and these are pretty pretty op they're meta right now uh the gas trap is pretty pretty obsolete compared to these <laughs> all right let's go get the other sides here because there's two sides that get attacked on the storm shield and as much as i've been running this i've only seen the storm shield get attacked maybe once or twice the whole endurance so we're gonna check out our west side now so this is the beginning of it, like close to the storm shield. They spawn west and walk straight north for this one. And I did have electric fields all throughout here over their spawn. So their spawn is like down here and I had electric fields up here, but I turned them down because like I said, the storm shield only gets attacked once or twice. So, I mean, I've tried this before and it worked out fine so I'm good on taking a chance which is you know leaving it like this because this is pretty much all you need you know and then you're good to go and I also got um you know a couple wall traps over here for in case flingers try to come around and I'll get to that later though but yeah this is a storm shield let me know what you guys think about it anything I should add or take away I think it's pretty good because I Every time I ran candy, you know, I, I passed it other than getting kicked or whatnot. But yeah, let's move on to the next amp. All right, so the next amp is the one I hate and I wish I wouldn't have placed down, but what can you do? So we're gonna go ahead, take a look at our north here. And basically, you know, it's pretty well stacked. Got a little tunnel down here. They, they spawn north down, uh, most of them spawn down there, a couple of them spawn up there, and a couple of them spawn up there as well. So they come north, they spawn north, I'm sorry, and then they come straight south. So the ones that come down here come to this tunnel, pretty much everything gets wrecked. And then got a little kill box room right here. And then we're gonna come around to this side where they also come. And I think I may get rid of Nah, I'll leave it like that. Yeah, so anyways, they spawn right here. A couple of them spawn right here, and then some drop down from right here to there. Boom. Floor launcher. I'm not sorry. Wall launcher throws them in there. And if that one doesn't, doesn't get them, they're getting hit by wall darts, broadsides. Nothing really makes it past here except smashers. Other than that, I mean, we're good to go. And then the next side we have is our west, which is pretty, pretty annoying. This is the only side I hate. This side isn't too bad. I hate this side because it's, it's so broad and, you know, it stretches out. So they, they spawn um, like all through here, all across here, and then they walk straight east. So, I mean, you can set it up however you want to. It, no build is right or wrong. You know, just do it how you want to. I didn't feel like thinking too much about it, so I just made it pretty wide. Uh, cut this off over here. And flingers will try to walk around here like they take the time out of their day to walk all the way around and come down here and 
start throwing stuff over here so that's why I added a little you know a little extra extra jazz right here to take care of flingers in case I you know don't pay attention or I'm AFK and I come back and I fail I'm like man why the hell did I fail <laughs> but that's it for uh, I really don't know the names of these amps because the only amps that have names are the ones in twine because those are the you know the hardest ones but let's move on to the next amp all right so our next amp is this one right here it's I guess you could call it like a pit amp like um, no I'm sorry this one really isn't a pit amp but it's like below the S storm shield so we're gonna take a little take a little drive up in here this is just extra stuff nothing really comes to this side but I'm gonna run you guys through the tunnel real quick Boom, 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 boom. but they pretty much spawn uh, down here they spawn down here this area over there and then some of them also spawn up there as well you see the traps I got up there and then they come south uh, I pretty much just set uh, electric fields all oh, I might want to drop those a little bit because I think three high may work but hold on let me see one two Oh yeah, they're up three. I gotta drop these a little bit. Oh, they may work three up. I don't know. I never tried it, but anything that comes this way is getting zapped by, you know, ceiling electric fields, RIP. And then we got, you know, this little tunnel right here. Boom, boom. I left this open because I spawned up there, and if I didn't, they would probably beat whatever I have down right here just to get down here, so I might as well just leave it open. And then this wraps around here. And then this is pretty much just a long tunnel. Just to sit back and uh, maybe shoot at. Only time I do is when a mini boss comes. And then let's go take a let's go take a uh, peek up top. What we got up top here. Alright, so you may get okay, and this is where they spawn up at the top here, like around this area right here. And then they walk straight south so you may get lobbers up here spawning up here so that's why i set all this up because there's nothing more annoying than lobbers just sitting up here throwing stuff down on your amp because those lobbers mess stuff up so i pretty much just blocked all this off uh make them walk all the way around no, normally they really don't walk walk that far but they drop down here and the only way to go is Boom, boom, over here to the other tunnel for this amp, which I might as well get into. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is, this is for that amp over there. This tunnel is for this tunnel over here, I'm sorry. So, yeah, let's get on this side now, east. So this is tunnel number two for this amp. Uh, let's see what we get here. I guess I, can, guess I should go this way. Make it a little quicker. <clears throat> so when this tunnel gets hit they spawn hmm I'm trying to think so they spawn right here when they attack that tunnel oh yeah they spawn right I'm sorry they spawn this way and then they come straight west which is a little weird so I got a wall launcher flinging them through here boom flinging them through there boom boom and if they break one of these walls I also have a little tunnel over here as well see always gotta have a backup plan it's always always good to do stuff just in case and that is it for this tunnel we're gonna move on to the next one all right so this is our next amp we're gonna be doing so this tunnel over here kind of connects to that amp too so basically this is a little small you know tunnel most of the killing is gonna be happening from the ceiling electric fields so by the time they get here there's not going to be very much and you know quick little kill box room and then we also have this little tunnel over here as well that they spawn in so i initially had you know tunnels like stacked up like this but when they spawn over here most of this stuff breaks right here and some of this back here as well so I, that's why it looks you know kind of kind of bearish at the beginning because if you build right here, it's going to end up breaking anyway. So I just went ahead and broke it. So this is this side. 
And then this is the next tunnel for this one. I'm just showing you guys the spine so you'll know where to set up trap tunnels or whatnot, but feel free to take any ideas or anything from uh, from me. And you always wanna trap over the spines because, you know, why not? <laughs> no propane is gonna blow any of this stuff up up here. They can't, because if they throw it, it's just gonna drop straight down and you know, you're good to go. And I say they do blow up the ground pieces. You always have the ceiling ready to go. So I sealed this off over here so they wouldn't come over here. And then they just walk straight through here and boom, they're dead. And if they come up this way, I also set up a little extra that, you know, that'll handle anything that tries to come this way as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this amp. And I believe our last amp, which is this one that I really don't like either, uh, just the south side, cause it's also a wide area. The east side is fine, I like that side, but the south side's kind of annoying. So uh, I got them pathing this way so they're gonna drop down here if anything does get down here and you know just a little you know decent little kill box area and they spawn right here they spawn up here spawn up here couple down no I think yeah they just spawn up here for this side a couple up here and then they spawn over here on the ground for this side and they walk straight north so I'll block this off so they won't go around, block this off so they won't go around and you know the tunnel just pretty much goes crazy. And like I said, I have ceiling electric fields, you know, all over the you know spine. I don't have it too far out because I think I, how many structures do I have left? Like four or five, yeah. <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, I got like I said, wall darts, broadsides lining up. For the ones that do come over here and they normally don't walk around so I mean this tunnel is good to go I don't even know why I have this right here oh no I'm freaking full on wood rip <laughs> get this up upgraded and I'll catch you guys at the other tunnel alright so this is the next side uh, they pretty much spawn. I'll show you guys where they spawn at. They spawn down here. All down there and then they walk straight west. So of course like every other tunnel I got uh, selling electric fields over the spawn. Pretty much kills everything. By the time they get here there's not much left to kill. And I got them coming up here. Flinging back here all the way back here. And a little kill box right here. And then up here, got it sauced up. And yeah, nothing really gets past here. And that's pretty much it for all the tunnels. If you guys would like to join my Candy Endurance, join the Discord in the description below. The link is below in the description. And I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Also, when you join the Discord, be sure to say that you would like to run Endurance with me because I have a lot of people from the Discord just joining in just to get wood, brick, metal, load up on ammo, all types of ammo drop during this too, um, candy drops, shadow shard, a lot of sleek, a lot of obsidian, and what else does it drop? It drops active power cells as well, but not, not a lot, and yeah, just all around ammo, building mats, and you know, crafting materials, so if you'd like to join, comment down down below let me know or join the discord and let me know in there other than that if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments below thanks for watching catch you in another and other than that i'll catch you guys in another video thanks for watching ayo k dub out